in today's lecture, I'll be talking about heart health, how the science has been working on, and what the new science is coming out, how we can take care of our health, and the epidemic of heart, heart disease. So first of all, we should understand the heart, what it is, how the disease comes, and how dietary cholesterol, it helps, but we know that it's actually hard. We have been heard that that cholesterol is a bad. How we, I mean, science came out that cholesterol actually healed the heart. Cholesterol actually medicine for the heart, not the heart in your heart. And the research came out how it works, and I'll be um, teaching you guys today how the science works, taking care of your heart health, and to 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 disease to not only prevent it reverse your heart disease. That is our discussion point today. So first of all, um, why it is so important? Heart disease is so important because the number when I say I get shocked. And I go to different, you know, different zone when I think about the number. One for one point five million people get heart attack every year. Imagine only in the United States, 1.5 million people. You see why it is so important to learn? And out of 1.5 million, 1 million, that means 70% of that, more than 70% of that heart attack people die. And because of that, according to data, half of the Americans are dying out of heart attack or stroke. How come? We don't want that life. We don't expect that kind of death. We want our regular you know, death. That's our right. So you should know how can we improve that, how can we take care of our health, how can we take care of you know, other health. How can you so we need to know what we need to know ourselves and for the world. And so what the heart disease is, as I said, heart disease is heart could not function properly. That is the heart disease. Simple language. So if heart has a plug inside their artery, inside the vein that it has, the vein will circulate the blood. Artery has some plug, which will science we call arthroporosis. The plug build up, that's called plug or arthroporosis or blockage. If full block, that full blocks. You can, you know, heart block. And heart attack means when the, the blocks comes up, the arteries are blocked, then blood cannot function anymore. Blood cannot circulate through the heart anymore. So heart supposed to be pumping the blood by, by pumping because the nutrition and oxygen need to circulate through the body. And if they have the blockage, heart cannot pump anymore. Then get heart attack. And if um, the vein or nerve is circulating, the bringing the blood into the brain, that get blocked, that is called stroke. And cardiac arrhythmias is called when the electrical impulses that coordinate your heartbeat do not work. If the electrical impulses doesn't work, which is supposed to be working with a um, heartbeat, this, that is called, that is called um, cardiac arrhythmias. So now, let's see how that happened. So first of all, blood pressure is a problem. If blood pressure is high, systolic, which is heart pump, heart pump, that's the systolic, heart expand, that's the diastolic. So pumping, when it's go, that should be you know, 120, and diastolic for the relaxing should be 80. If go beyond that, then the scale is 140, 190, that, may, that we need to check that our heart head, our health have a problem going on, we need to take care of that. And the more you need to know about the obesity. Obesity, this is the heart foundation given the data, and the, this is the waist measurement, and you know the BMI, body mass index, that should be below 25. I feel that it's even less than 25. 20, 223 is okay. I'm right now I'm in 25, but I feel that I should go to 
this is a little less than 25. But 25 is a scale, we should not go below over, over 25. And over 30 BMI, that's called obese. And blood pressure, we talked about that triglyceride is 140, is the limit. Triglyceride means fat in our blood circulation. So it is more than 140, we say high triglyceride. And HDL, which is called good cholesterol, that. 130. Yeah. So, and, and um, HDL should be above 40. If below, below 40, that we call that is, is uh, and the HDL is low, so it should get more, you know, at the diet. And uh, blood pressure talked about that, um, and sugar, sugar level is 100. Everyone should have a sugar level 100. That that's the standard. If sugar is okay, below 80, that is all you are going to be weak. Your body doesn't have enough energy to survive. So over above 100, that is uh, that you are dieting. That means your sugar is not converting into the energy to give you to get you going. And that's we talked about that the total cholesterol was 300 before. Now you put it down to 300. So look at that. What I said, total cholesterol, HDL and LDL together was 300. Last few years we are focusing it is 200. And how come? Did you change? Human biology change? No. So how come we change the scale 200 to 200 cholesterol? Because we thought that we didn't use our wisdom. We follow some signs. We forgetting. We forgot the big part of the signs. By mistake, we thought that we need to lower down. And by lowering down, 50% of Americans are getting heart attack. 1.5 million people getting heart attack every year. How that number uh, true? Because we forgot the signs. We didn't apply our wisdom. We took the part. We cherry picked our researches. So even the 200, let's let, let's know what is the standard people are. Talk. I will talk about the truth, we will talk about the science, what is it? <laughs> anyway. So how the plaque build up? Arthroporosis build up when they slowly, slowly. So this is the, this is the, you see the artery wall. So in the artery, artery has, is the artery? The artery has a um, wall that's called artery wall. And the artery wall has a cell that's called endothelial cell. This cell should be, it, it, overall artery is very delicate. When this artery delicate and the cell are inflammated, then follow carefully, when endothelial cells are inflammated, then body or liver, we have a liver in here, three to four pound liver right side. Liver is a major organ, it's a, it's a you know, body manager, you can say. Thus liver produces cholesterol, sent to the artery, to heal it. Because the artery are inflammated, because they're inflammated, they, they, this part is becoming, um, you can say, danger zone for LDL. LDL comes here to heal the artery damage, but it gets clogged up. It gets stuck in here. So it is not cholesterol fault. It is not artery, it is not a LDL fault. Cholesterol came to uh, hit it, but it get um, stuck in here. So let's see uh, how um, who get mostly affected. People get affected mostly um, to say white community, you know, and less Caucasian, uh, less you know African American community, and then the you know gene, you know, people think about the gene is the causing the heart disease. Gene is the yes, genetical uh, mutation, genetical property should be a reason. But lifestyle is the one you is 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 the trigger. So gene is the gun, lifestyle is the one is the trigger. How you pulling a trigger? That's how you get healthy or healthy. So um, so mostly you know South American South uh, states, Southern states in U.S. are mostly affected. It is because we love barbecue, and we know that barbecue is the one top one carcinogens and. Still, people I see we, we, we couldn't stop, stop it. So take dangerous, and um, you see heart attack, blood pressure, heart disease, all southern states. So let's see what's that. Who is the cholesterol? 
cholesterol is a is a is a chemical structure of the cholesterol. This cholesterol converts to vitamin D by the effect of UV light. So we need vitamin D for energy, and that coming out from the cholesterol. And it is like a like a you know a cholesterol like a greasy substances, it's like a soft greasy substance, and our liver makes it and we heard that it's too much is bad, which is again not true. Too much cholesterol is good for you. Your body is gonna balance it as needed. I'm gonna come how it works. So look at that. The way oil do not dissolve with the water, because oil and water are two different polarity. Likewise, uh, cholesterol do not dissolve into the bloodstream. Because blood is watery, cholesterol is a uh, very polar. Cholesterol uh, is a non-polar. So it doesn't dissolve with the water which is the molecule. So cholesterol, uh, so cholesterol or fat stain the bloodstream, stain the you know um, bloodstream as a triglyceride. So it's not which is not good. Fat is not being used up, fat is not healthy, that doesn't be that doesn't get used up as needed. So uh, how the cholesterol look like? This cholesterol, different cholesterol are two types. One is LDL, one is HDL. So LDL and HDL, um, what is the difference? The difference is LDL made by liver and then send to the body part whatever it is needed. Anything you need, anytime you get damaged, anytime you are very busy, anytime you're working very hard, body gets a lot of damage. So, um, so again, I said LDL is the one we said the bad one, which is produced liver. And what is job? Job is to clean the artery. You see, is clean the artery. And HDL is the one picking all the excess cholesterol into the liver bag. So through the body tissue and organs have a lot of cholesterol. HDL, why we call is good because it takes excess back to the liver. So two things: LDL come from the liver, supporting all the organs that are needed and HDL bringing back all the cholesterol into the liver bag so that liver can, so, so that body doesn't have access. So the number, what we, we learned, uh, 160 or 140 or below 50 for HDL and 140, 150 for, um, uh, for LDL. This number actually are um, not accurate. If you're sleeping two, two continuous two days, your LDL should be very low. But it doesn't need to make cholesterol. Your body already in, in healing zone. But if you are construction worker, let's say, if you're a truck driver, if you're uh, you know manual working worker, then you should have a very high cholesterol. Body will make. What if that person put in on anti-cholesterol drug? That person will be very weak because body producing, you're wearing down. Body producing to support you, you're wearing that down. That's gonna put you on the heart attack. So. But the truth, according to medical research, that's the purpose is uh, I drew the lecture to you. According to medical research, that um, this is the truth. New England Medical Journal of Medicine, they found out that cholesterol is um, not the reason for heart disease. Oxidation, oxidation, that means damage, free radical production from the stress or from the wrong food. Oxidation is the one causing the heart disease. They found out that uh, more heart, people get more heart attack when they're lowering down cholesterol. And people get heart attack, they looked at their cholesterol level, which is normal. Many research, not the only one very useful, many research came out, cholesterol is normal, they get heart attack. Because they're lowering down cholesterol. And also, higher death rate are the people who have low cholesterol. Also, um, when people are in statin drug, to lower down cholesterol at the number we have. Again, I'm going to say, there was no number a few decades ago. They put it 300 chronic cholesterol decades, you know, few years ago. Now, they become it only 200. They're controlling cholesterol so much, and research showing that by controlling cholesterol, they're getting higher back and stroke. How about that? What could be the definition of insanity? We are killing ourselves purposely by not looking at the science, by looking at only me. 
looking at only hypothesis. And what, so to see, what are the functions? I have a table, some, the summary of cholesterol. Cholesterol function is LDL, which is the bad you say, that's the best one. The best thing in your body has a cholesterol is called LDL cholesterol. The best thing, you can even imagine. Let's see what they do. I have a summary, the top functions it does. So first off, it produces energy. You get it? Try to try to get in the morning cheese and egg and butter and wild salmon or like fatty food and nuts. You get very energetic instead of taking toxic cereal and then you know, uh, you know, and then toxic meat, meat and milk. That you try, try. It. A lot of time you see huge difference because that producing that part is because LDL produces energy. Antioxidant. Whenever body is stressed or in a, you know, put on take rest, body gets antioxidant. That body needs antioxidant to take to eat up all the critical baking products throughout the body. That antioxidant is can be actually LDL works as the antioxidant. And then um, co um, CoQ10 is an enzyme. CoQ10 is an enzyme produces to protect the heart. So when they control the cholesterol. This CoQ10 is also being controlled because cholesterol and CoQ10 is coming from the same route. So CoQ, lack of CoQ10, you will get heart attack. You see why low cholesterol will get heart attack? And then come up fat soluble vitamin. You get all the time healthy food. If you don't have cholesterol, vitamin will not be absorbed because fat soluble vitamins absorb in the cholesterol. And look at the uh, pathogens. If you have a virus attack, you know, bacteria attack, who's going to save you? Cholesterol. Then eat up all the, you know, anti inflammatory substances and they can save from your, you know, uh, pathogens attack. Look at the, um, you know, cancer formation and cell damage, because cell damage, cell repair, because cell membrane made of mostly cholesterol. Without cholesterol, without fatty substances, cell is not going to be revealed properly. So cell uh, repair and cell signal link, cell signaling the neurotransmitter works by uh, by the cholesterol. So neurotransmitter is not going to work if there is not uh, enough cholesterol in there. Then uh, have you seen people get old? They get a certain drug. Their brain doesn't work. They forget. They lost their memory because our 25 percent of our cholesterol is in the brain. Brain made of cholesterol. It's a three to four pound brain, it's made of mostly fat. And cell membrane function with the cholesterol. Without cell membrane, and of, you know, active cell membrane, uh, cell neurotransmitter, which uh, cell signaling doesn't work, cell repair doesn't work, cell reproduction doesn't work, body regeneration is not going to be working properly. You see, and hormone, people lose their sex life because sex hormone, testosterone from the testes and progesterone. From the uh, from the ovary, both comes from the uh, from the cholesterol in the precursor. So um, let, let me show you how it works. You see, like you got bacteria attack, it produces a lot of toxic substances, LPS, LTA. That's gonna make the inflammation in your body, and then then look at the uh, that cell die. If you have protective cholesterol, cholesterol gonna eat up the bacterial attack and toxic substances and take you out of body inflammation. Because inflammation is the cause, the root of all disease. And look at the cell, you see the yellow substances, the neurotransmitter, that supported by cholesterol to work better as a neurotransmitter. That doesn't work, lack of cholesterol. Look at the vitamin D. Vitamin D is a flu season coming up, right? You get flu, if you get enough vitamin D. If you don't have enough vitamin D, you get flu right away. So to be strong, you have to have enough good vitamin D level so they don't get attacked by viruses, you don't get C. And that vitamin D is coming from the cholesterol. So um, look at the adrenal gland. When you get stressed, end of the day, you get tired and angry and you lost your, your, your energy because of you don't have cholesterol enough. The cholesterol is the one supporting your adrenal, adrenal gland above your kidney and the back. So the kidney, the both sides. So that's cholesterol, that's adrenal gland suffered by cholesterol to make it calm down, to maintain your hormonal level, maintain your cortisol level. And, and as I said, uh, testes and, and, and ovary 
producing your sex hormone to be sexually active. Otherwise, it's not possible to make, you know, that people get old, they get sex life nowadays. So that should be a very important thing to be focused. But, so there's all the thing done by cholesterol. Like, have you seen people get old, they get knee pain, back pain, have you seen that? Why? Because their body is not producing bile to, to digest the emulsify the fat substances, and because of that, they, their joints and bone marrow doesn't work. Bone doesn't joint doesn't function properly, and then they get you know uh, you know uh, and then they get pain, joint pain and stuff. So bile production because bile is produced from cholesterol. You see how great thing cholesterol does. LDL mostly as LDL does. And look at the cholesterol body will be managing. Balancing cholesterol by itself as needed. If you need more, they'll make you more. If you need less, they're going to put you down cholesterol as needed. You don't need to put medication, and that really was not human history that cholesterol needed to, to maintain. And so let's see, then the topic today is the heart, right? So then tell me, what is the true cause of heart disease then? True cause of heart disease, first of all, is the American processed diet. Our diet is more than 60% processed. And processed food made of what? Of the oil, of the processed you know, carb, and our food is made of you know, added sugar. And sugar is the one making all you know, you know, imbalances, hormone imbalance. Sugar is the one making you fat, because sugar directly converts into fat, fat, to store fat, undertaking intaking fat. So intake fat makes you fat-free body. In taking fat makes you cholesterol to make you slim and healthy. In taking sugar makes you fat and unhealthy and all that disease. So our diet are messed up. Have you seen our plant oil? You see it's vegetable oil. It's not a vegetable oil, it makes a toxic chemical. And we thought that hey, I got a five dollar, I got a big bottle of you know cholesterol and canola oil, this make of canola. How big lie that? There's no kind of like oil existing there. That's not possible. If you that amount of canola oil, that cost would be ten thousand dollars. If it's true canola oil. And, and and vegetable oil, how can you make vegetable this amount with three five dollars? If it's true vegetable oil, that's supposed to be twenty thousand dollars. Because you need twenty truck, you need twenty truck of vegetable to make that amount of plant oil. If you truly want to make from vegetable, that should be healthy one, of course. They have the best oil you can ever imagine. So that's only two. so research showing that all our sugary substances, because of, look at the cereal, look at the bread, everything have a sugar coated. These sugar coated, sugary substances, sugary foods. Uh, in the morning we have a cereal, pasta, you know, and lunch is spaghetti and sandwich and dinner is a you know pizza and. See, our and snacks and cakes and everything food made of sugar. Carbohydrate. Carbohydrate means sugar, you know that. This carb or sugar is the causing all the heart disease. That's the research showing that. Research showing that sweetener, the aspartame, chemical molecule that we use as a sweetener, that's a true cause of heart disease. That's go, it doesn't go to the back door, it is still in your in your in your heart heart to kill you and just just you know at in a course of time. So, and then the toxic meat. Toxic meat, according to a Harvard Medical School, toxic, this meat is made of steroid, made of hormone. It has the toxic chemicals in PMO, HCA, and PH, and it has a highly excessive and faulty omega 6. And that makes it toxic metals as well, because they're fed with the toxic food. And those chemicals is coming out to our body through toxic, fake, and milk product, meal and meat. Meat and milk and cheese and bread and pasta and butter, they are not the bad, bad. they are the good one. But we make that bad, we process it bad, we're producing the wrong way to make corporation richer and richer. So our the true cause is our body is not functioning properly. Our nervous system, our parasympathetic system is not working properly because of our hormonal imbalance in our body. The true cause of heart disease are five years I mentioned. First of all, Body have inflammation, lack of cholesterol. Body have too much inflammation as well as artery. That inflammation making all the diseases. We get obese because we don't eat food. We eat the 
food-like substances as a food. We thought that's our food. So food like so that's putting us into the malnutrition. So malnutrition is a cause of this uh, obesity. And third is dehydration. We don't take salt. We take salt, white salt. White salt is too salt. This white salt is processed, depleted all the real salts. It, 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 it heated, it, it, it died, it bleached. So bleach and heat and depletion, that salt only have sodium and chloride. chloride, chloride. If you take that, we don't take real salt. Real salt is old salt, we have a 92 mineral. So because we're not talking that's whole salt, what human body need, we get dehydration. Lack of water, body get dehydration, dehydration. And body get body doesn't hold water if you don't have enough salt. So it doesn't mean that go and get a white salt. That's I don't mean that. That we're taking too much white salt, that is a problem. Problem is solution is we get a true salt. True salt makes your body water water holding your body. Water makes you hydrated when you drink water. Otherwise, if you don't take white salt, you drink water, pee out in the bathroom. That's it. The body gets dried. So dehydration makes your heart dehydrated, body gets dehydrated. You see? Young scientists, you should know at this age. If you have a question, please hold your question at that. Please write down your question so we can have a good discussion. And deficient of cholesterol. Since we don't take what we think cholesterol is our enemy, right? We don't take cheese, butter, and you know salmon. We, we found that they are our enemy. No coconut oil. We eat the toxic, you know, oil, vegetable oil. So that's deficient of cholesterol and vitamin D. We have we no no one protecting our heart, protecting our body against heart disease. And finally, we have something excess. We have excess sugar in the blood because everything food is sugar. <coughs> we are eating bread, bread with sugar. Everything in the process food have sugar. We're taking drug for a maybe headache, get a drug. We have a stomach pain, get a drug, right? We get a blood pressure high, get a drug. So that's insane. You have no right to poison yourself with excess drug, excess sugar, excess caffeine, excess stress. Be grateful, always. We always complain of everything. Complaining your parents, complaining your sibling, complaining on everything, complaining on your friends, complaining on everything that puts you on that. Stress that makes you dysfunctional in your hormone that puts you stress on the, on the purifying your blood and separating blood that puts you heart damage. And this top five is an interloper. And then go back to then how, how do you treat your then heart problem, right? Put on the medication, right? Can you do that? No, research showing that is no. Putting on the medication is actually causing all the heart attack because all medication. Is stopping the heart to flow, stopping the CoQ10 to grow, so that body heart get unprotected. You see, so medication is the one causing the all the disease because they're hurting our nervous system, they're hurting our parasympathetic system, who is uh, calming down our heart functioning properly. And then it's um, showing the cardiac arrhythmic disease, causing the blockage in the heart, causing the problem in the you know heart functioning. So and then. A bypass and the surgery we have we never had in the human history. I was um, in the no, I can give you many example. I was traveling in Montreal and I saw in the Montreal, Montreal, I went to the hill. On the hill, say it's a very good tourist place, I saw some raccoon was you know passing by and walking and sleeping. I was like raccoon should not be that inactive and sleeping and walking slow. They're looking like it. Like like a movie like that, you know, and they're sleeping like they're not raccoon. They're like a like a like a, like a pet. And then I saw what happened. Why they're so fat? And they said they're so weak. They couldn't even move. Walking, you know, fun, not like a raccoon. And minute later, I saw people throwing, you know, their chips. People throwing their burger and sandwich and cookies to them to eat. You know what I mean? The our food, synthetic processed food, made them mess up their health. I went to the camping in our camp, line of raccoons sitting by, right? All of them are the same size. We don't see, they are so healthy, so strong, so skinny, so strong, they're jumping up and down, they are sitting like a, they never, you know, they are all same age. They all are young. 
But when I went to the people, human beings, when they come to us and we bring them chips and cookies, that made them sad. See, why? Processed food, why? Sugar. Processed food is not a food. It's lost the food property. You can understand that, young scientist. And then, um, surgery is a high-tech medicine. Didn't work. It failed. All research showing that it did not work because when you put the surgery and stay in and, and, and then and then all kind of you know uh, process, um, the, uh, procedure, the heart get weaker, and the true cause are not resolved. So they get more prone to get heart disease, heart attack, than earlier. And according to our National Health Institute, what is the diet, diet for the heart disease? See, dietary approach, stop hypertension, which is called DASH diet. DASH diet given us with a healthy option, healthy food, healthy food, healthy carbs. And even though this is not the best one, I'm going to show you what the best one. But even though this simple method, according to research, you know, high, you know, low salt and the, you know, low fat, even though low fat is not a good idea, even though they have low carb, low carb is not a yeah. very low carb, you know. And but even though this little good, better off, little okay, little okay food make people healthy. You see the other research coming out, how their weight got normal, how their, you know, uh, the salt, salt level get normal, how their, you know, blood pressure get controlled, their glucose get controlled, their triglycerides get you know, normal, in a normal range, and, and what if the best option is the low, very low carb? That means you don't take carb rice and bread as in part of your meal. You get without rice and carb. You get only fatty substances and get a lot of plant, a lot of, you know. So a lot of plant, a lot of fat, that's the best thing for you to eat. How well I'm saying that? I'm saying talking from the research. By research showing that, uh, I'm going to here show it how body needs sugar too. Body do need sugar, but mostly need fat. So that amount of sugar is coming from the, every fatty substance has some amount of sugar. So sugar is coming from there. Carb is coming from there. You don't need to take extra carb, extra sugar. And by research, they're showing that by low carb, very low carb, that cholesterol get high. High means good. Even though we thought high is bad. Their triglycerides get no control. Their idea, which is the worst antibody, makes you, you know, cancer, that's the all the lower down. Their hypertension lower down. Their triglycerides lower down. So they're all the scale, which is bad, would be controlled by very low carb, high fat diet. And this is the degree that, and the hormone get balanced, the cholesterol get balanced up as needed. As, again, cholesterol, there's no scale, as needed. How much you need, based on how much damage you're making, liver will make as you need. You have to understand the body science. Body know how to treat, how to play as, it, as it's needed, okay? And then, body is gonna balancing up. Whatever body makes cholesterol, at the same time, body makes energy. So cholesterol and energy mix together to make it strong and support your system with the fat. Remember I said cholesterol from pathogens, from inflammation, from vitamin D, low vitamin D, from the energy, everything is supported by cholesterol. So energy, ketone, and cholesterol go work together when you have a very low carb, high fat diet. So, and body, let's say body makes ketone as for energy, also balance cholesterol when you have a very low carb diet. And then, body gets energy, mitochondria get enough support. You get ketone body, ketone means ketogenic, that means high fat diet. Mitochondria get support to get energy when you do that. And um, this, they work, they try with a rat model, the four different types of rat. They, some rat, the one part they put placebo, other they put CoQ10, which is a you know, enzyme, a healthy enzyme for the, for the heart. And then they put it a certain drug with CoQ10, and they put it only a certain drug. And with the four groups, they found out that, you see, the one having a CoQ10, they get high lifestyle, high you know, cultural balance, and high energy. They also found out that they are, um, with, with them, the one with the, the one with the CoQ10, you see, they get uh, excellent performance of their energy as well. And um, the further research uh, showing that how uh, coronary heart disease is 
getting better by high fat diet. And also it's just showing that there is no, no research, no evidence that the uh, saturated fat could hurt your heart disease. I was I went to the you know farming study to get a fresh you know a fresh healthy cow and goat meat. I do eat meat sometimes once in a week or twice in a week. And then what there when I went there and everybody taking the all fatty fat part after slaughtering, they took the, all the fatty you know, fat out. They want they want they want them to mix up the meat. And I call all my five berries. Say hey come on do you know what is this? I think that's your best buddy. That's your best friend for your health. They was like, what are you talking about? And I explained to them, that is the called saturated fat, which becomes solid, white fat in a cow or, or a dog, or a cow or, or a goat. And that can take care of you all the disease, all the pathogens, all the inflammation, all the low energy, all the healing that you need, all the energy that you need. And <clears throat> the guy who has a, uh, the, my friend who has a, uh, heart pressure and heart problem, he jumped in and he took all of them in his bag. He said, I'm going to take all of them. <laughs> and nobody could get them. So, oh man, I need that too. And I saw that many times in the eating table, they take out the fat out. And that's the eat that part. But again, a lot of people cannot digest fat. So fix your gut health problem and that that's fat going to help you. And I've been researching that for three years for my many patients. It worked fantastic. Successfully, by eating high fat, they get out of disease. They get out of high blood pressure. They get out of the heart disease. They get out of you know uh, all kind of you know health um, sugar problem. So and then, if what if you excess fat? No worries. As I said, body can balance it as needed. Also, fiber. Eat a lot of fiber. Always eat a lot of healthy food, healthy plant food. That fiber and plant they hook up with the excess fat, take out of your body, so balance cholesterol as needed. That's how it is. And of course, uh, you have to get fat, but not that this unhealthy fat, right? Get the healthy one. Get the omega-3, which is the, you see, the orange color egg. Don't buy 88 cents, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, the egg. I don't know how they can buy, how they can sell 88 cents, you know, a dozen of egg. And I break them, and nothing in here. It's like yellow. It should be orange omega-3 color. Get the pure grass-fed meat. Get the raw milk, not the processed and pasteurized milk. That is going to make you um, or the sugar intolerance that is called lactose intolerance. And uh, get a healthy fat sources, not the so-called meat is the one fat. No, don't, don't do that mistake. And that coconut oil is the best thing in my home. For everything, I use coconut oil. All the cut and burn and pain and bruise, coconut oil. The, so body, for any reason, is a saturated fat that can heal any inflammation, any damage. Try so to fat on the on you quickly is healing. Why? Because that's the cholesterol, that's the fat. That's the anti anti antivirus. No virus can go there when you have some heart if you put coconut oil. And then get your healthy sources and then omega-3 uh, is the one need. So instead of taking high-tech medication and suggest everyone to take plant-based healthy fat diet. Okay? And then um, if you uh, never be old, don't count yourself as you old, get older, I don't have time to exercise. No, everyone is same age, age like age like a number only. People are always same age. And then workout is a proven that the heart if heart cell one better if you if you have cardio exercise. That is called cardio. You see? So and salt. Remember I talked about salt? What did I say? It's like a whole salt. Black salt, pink salt, any salt, there's a 92 mineral. That's what you need to heart function better because our blood, our saliva, our tear, everything has <coughs> a 92 mineral. Lack of the mineral, heart doesn't work properly. Do apply on yourself with a white salt. And then Dr. Cardwell, he's a clinical medical, he, um, told, he told the medical, clinical medical that give me most difficult patient. And most difficult patient he took, uh, he worked for the eight years. With the eight years, he found out that, the, he found that within, th within, a, within two weeks, he saw their, their artery got flow better within, a, within two weeks. And after, um, and then um, he found out that, so he found out that within eight years of time, out of his 18 patient, one patient died. 
other 17 patients completely recovered their heart disease. One patient died because he couldn't make it because of his old age. Other 70 patients completely out of heart disease and heart, his heart became closed in two weeks. With a what? How? With a completely out of medication, fully plant-based whole food diet. And Dean Ornish is a very famous MD doctor, and he did the same thing. He took um, a group of patients, and he divided into half. 50% of his patients, he put a statin drug, and all the cholesterol drug, and all the you know, regular so-called healthy diet, which is junk, junk diet. And other 50% he put a plant-based whole food diet, and he found out that those 50% people slowly, slowly, they're completely out of heart disease. And the people who they use drug and so-called healthy diet, their heart disease got worse and worse and worse by the course of time. So um, you know this guy, right? Bill Clinton. He got two um, certain uh, statins and quadruple bypass. And he said no. He was walking by in New York City um, in 2004, and he got chest pain right away. He had been taken to a hospital. And then he found out that so much health problem. He said he was a very junk food lover. And he said, I want to be grandparents, grandfather. And then he changed his lifestyle. He completely out of heart problem. And heart problem, um, what now we do? We look at the, what organ is starting. And the heart is, tip of the tongue is a heart sign. That is having a crack, that means heart has a problem. That is getting red, heart is not functioning properly. And the left leg, if any one of your family and friends have a heart problem, today, go there, take their left leg, feet, left feet, and you see the tingling in there, or stagnant in there. Massage on it. That night, they're going to be sleeping the best sleep ever in their life. Because when they sleep, when they massage on the, that stagnant on the heart, joint, heart point, their body will be functioning much better. Their heart will be functioning better. And and um, this is my patient. Um, he got within seven days. He got out of completely blood pressure, completely by seven days. And then all our problem, he now become very active. Then he doesn't need any medication. He completely out of medication. So that's the power of science. That's the power of non-chemicalized, <coughs> non you know harming your body. And. Um, of course, you have a healthy food. I talked about that. Healthy breakfast, healthy lunch or dinner. You can choose. And finally, um, prayer and medication. Healthy food, lifestyle. And the young scientist, I want you to read some book. Great Cholesterol Lie, wrote by Dr. Duel Lindell, the medical doctor. Another medical doctor wrote the book, Dr. Peter Dingo. He wrote a book, Great Cholesterol Deception. Other medical doctor wrote a book, Fat and Cholesterol Do Not Cause Heart Attack. Read those books, get your knowledge to save the humanity, save your family, save your society from the epidemic of heart problem so that you can build a better world. Finally, the last slide that I have, I have a summary of what we talk. The five things we talk, right? But the first thing we talk, anybody can tell us what the first, first thing? Nutrition superior diet. Nutrition superior diet, what does that mean? Plant-based whole food. Second thing, high-intensity interval training. What does that mean? Low cardio. cardio, exercise, run. Not like only gym and get muscle. What is the third thing? Hydration and mineralized body. What does that mean? Salt, melting, water. Very good. If you have a salt body, cell, heart cells will say, I will not take water if you don't give me enough salt. OK? What is the fourth thing? Anyone? Improve vitamin D and cholesterol. Vitamin D and cholesterol. Improve vitamin improve cholesterol is going to increase your vitamin D level, balance your cholesterol. But five things. What, is, what does it mean? We control these things, right? What is this? Anybody, anybody can read for me? Process, process, we process and process foods. Yeah. Sugar consumption, uh, stress. Prayer medication can make you stress free. You're always thankful. You know, yeah. the, the society we are in, we are very complaining. We are eating all stuff. We don't want to be killing ourselves by like thinking everything negative. You can half of a glass water, you can say half glass is full, instead of saying half glass is empty. It's a you know, famous saying, you know that. But the last thing? Eliminate drugs, caffeine, alcohol. Yeah, control it, and then 
Okay, your question. Tell me uh, what question you have. Yes. Okay, so the salt, right? I, I take that um, pink Himalayan salt and that natural salt. But yeah. the reason they the reason they recommend the other salt they say because of goiter. People had thyroid problems and they were getting goiter, so they add, add iodine to it. Okay, he said he got a pink salt. Now he moved to iodine salt. So many research showing that additional iodine can make you more cancer. Because the iodine that synthetically made iodine in the in the, the salt is dangerous. Get a natural synthetic salt which is made from the ocean with a low level of iodine. That's the best salt you can take. That's the lot of iron. Celtic C L T S. In the American accent we call healthy, but I like to say Celtic. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so next question. Does uh, vegetable contain fats? Second. Does vegetable contain fat? Vegetable do not contain fat. So if they contain, that would be great. Again, everything, every living thing has a fat. Like a spinach, does it have any fat? Yes, it has. Because cell made of mineral, protein, and fat. Maybe a small amount of fat or more. Living things has to have a fat. That's how the cell made of. But small amount, that's why you get vegetable oil, right? Oil is a fat. How come oil coming from the vegetable? That means vegetable has a fat. Why? It's the bottom rule is every living thing has to have a made of fat. Because that's a living cell. Yes? Where do we get raw whole milk? Raw whole milk, since its uh, need is there, it, is, it, it has been in the, in the farm. Now, last year or so, it became the shelf. Go to the shelf of uh, sprout. They started bringing because people need it. Everyone want that. Recently, I found one, one uh, you know, many, many stories you can find it nowadays. They start bringing because people are looking for it. You know, I used to bring in from the farm all the way. There's, there's two farm in the South Korea that I live, South Houston, um, United Way and Healthy Dairy. These are two farms I go. Uh, you can go there, and there's the more out there in the north. There are a couple. Of, you know, I do not know the West and Korea area. But um, I don't know if the South have many. OS should have more because more population is in the OS area. Okay. I'll take one more question. What type of oil should we cook with? What type of oil we cook with? The best cooking oil is a coconut oil. Because coconut oil is a saturated fat. You heat, it doesn't break. But if you heat, if you cook with the olive oil, that breaks because olive oil is an unsaturated fat. It becomes saturated, it lost its stru structure. So you want to fry something with a saturated, unsaturated oil, which is a olive oil. So heat up. If you heat, put the coconut oil. If you do not heat, put olive oil. After cooking is done, put olive oil on the top of the your, 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 your dish and enjoy it with a nice smell of you know 100% uh, cold, cold pressed. Virgin Oliver, got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>